opportunity and build your faith against the stormy days. Fear, fear, fear. It's going to be on the increase. So our faith must be stronger by the day. To keep fear at bay. You can't keep darkness at bay without light. You can't keep fear away without faith. And how strong your faith will determine how may your level of command over fear. Your level of command over fear is a function of how strong your faith is. And you can't wish strong faith, you build strong faith. You can't wish strong muscles, you build strong muscles. So build your faith and build ready right world. I've said it before, I read virtually all the books that Ege ever wrote. Building my faith against a tomorrow I didn't know. I was building my faith against a tomorrow I didn't know. And see the wonders today. Build your faith. Stop your doubt. Live a triumphant life by building against the day of the storms. If your strength fails, if you faint in a time of trouble, then your strength is small. Proverbs 24 verse 10. It may be too late to get ready, so live ready, live ready, live ready, live ready, live ready. It may be too late to live ready. I mean, to get ready, live ready. Challenges don't announce that there's no timetable, they come anytime. Live ready, live ready, and then you'll always be victorious in Jesus' name. So, God, hope of this, any of this material, most of us have, have never read them. Settle down. I must build my faith. No one can build my faith for me. I can only be taught how to build strength into my faith. So, born to win gives you a sense of victory as a child of God. The unlimited power of faith and then understanding the power of faith and then exploits of faith and then lifestyle, the lifestyle of faith by Bishop David Abioye and then set and get lost. These materials will help to steer your faith and give your faith an anchor against the day of storms you will never, never be a victim. Well, we have seen some things, but uh, biblical prophecy points to the fact that worse days are ahead for the world, but brighter days for the church. So take your place in the kingdom of light and darkness will leave you alone. Stand to your feet. But the capital proof of faith is rest. What do I call it? They that believed have entered into rest. A state of no anxieties, no apprehensions, no uncertainties. They that believed. Now, Hebrews chapter 4, verse 1 to 3. Hebrews 4, 1 to 3, please. Let us therefore fear, lest any promise left for us to enter into promise, anyone should fear to fail it, to, to miss it. For the word preached to us was preached to them, but didn't profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that had it. But they that believed, do enter into rest. You believe, you enter into rest. Apprehension is a proof of unbelief. Anxiety is a proof of unbelief. Uncertainty is a proof of unbelief. When you believe, you enter into rest. Listen to me. Your days of unrest, apprehensions, anxieties, heart palpitation, they are finally over. <laughs> Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, demonstrated unusual rest in the midst of the storms. He was asleep on a pillow. Master, master, water has filled the whole place. I'm taking rest. And he awoke and said, Stop that. There was a great calm. The capital proof of faith is rest. 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 It's a scarce commodity. The world over. It's in a restless state. But when faith comes alive, rest comes along. 
When faith comes alive, rest comes along. Rest comes along. The Lord shall fight for you and you hold your peace. God always steps in in the midst of rest. And when God takes over your battle, the battle is over. Faith has been proved and overproved across ages. It looks so weak as if it carries nothing. But the whole of this commission is a raw product of faith at work. Raw product of faith at work. Faith tabernacle is faith built. Ark project is faith in building. Canal potassi, no. 83 new nations in one year. Faith, raw faith. Raw, raw faith. Not a dime from this church. Raw faith. Papanke taka. Ecoloba le kratonale. Raw faith. Raw faith. Governor University, raw faith. Build a campus in seven months. Raw faith. Only God builds like that. Raw faith. Came in yesterday and then making waves around the world. Raw faith. Raw faith. Faith tabernacle completed within two months when the roof was not completed yet. Raw faith. Raw faith. Come awake. You have this thing that can bring that Goliath in your pocket. Bring it out. Goliath is harassing you enough. Bring out your stone and your sling and silence your Goliath. Bring out your stone and your sling. Now, watch. It was not in his sling. His faith was not in his sling. His faith was in God. God, who gave me the lion and the bear, who gave me this. So faith in God can slay any Goliath. So every Goliath of your life harassing you day and night, you'll be silent today. Yeah. Let me hear your loudest amen. Yeah. They will be silenced today. Yeah. Faith without obedience is dead. Romans, oh, James chapter 2 verse 26. Would thou not know, O vain man? He said, For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without the work of obedience is dead also. Is dead also. You can know everything about soul winning until you are a soul winner. You don't attract the blessings that come to soul winners. You can know everything about praying in secret and God rewarding you openly. You won't see any open reward until you engage in praying behind the closet. Well, he was made for that you and I can be made rich. You won't see those riches except to commit you to the covenant of seed, time, and harvest. There is no prayer of any man of God that will make it happen. No. As the spirit without the body is dead, so faith without works is dead also. Faith without the works of obedience is dead also.